Today I'll be presenting a quick walkthrough of SQL Diagnostic Manager for MySQL and MariaDB. Now before we start, let me give you a quick introduction about the tool. SQL Diagnostic Manager for MySQL and MariaDB is an agentless on-premise MySQL and MariaDB monitoring solution that gets up and running within two minutes. Now it is a cloud-ready solution and works well with all the flavors of standard and hosted MySQL. Uh, with SQL Diagnostic Manager, you can monitor your critical databases confidently rather than hunting and pecking for speed with other monitoring solutions. Now, the moment you launch SQL Diagnostic Manager, it takes you to the overview page, which gives you a full capture performance visibility across your databases. You get to see the total number of servers you have registered with the tool in case any of these servers are down, what are the critical alerts and warnings associated with each of these servers. And not only that, you also get to see the top 10 running queries based on total execution time. And with just a single click of a button, you get to see the relevant query details as well. So all in all, it basically allows you to avoid the visibility gap and helps you or enables you to achieve faster issue resolution time. Next, next up we have the service page. Now, the service page allows you to view all the servers that you have registered with the tool. Uh, one interesting feature that can be accessed by the service page is the disk information feature. Now, suppose if you're trying to do a disk cleanup exercise and you are trying, you are in the process of figuring out the top candidates for cleanup. So in such cases, you can use the disk information feature. All you need to do is select a particular server, go to disk information feature, and the tool allows you to drill down to the database level. Here you can uncover which database is taking most of your space. What is my data size? What is the total size of a particular database? If there is too much of indexing or not? And not, and not only that, if you'd like to drill down even further, the tool allows you to do that. With just a single click of a button, SQL Diagnostic Manager takes you to up to the table level, which helps you uncover the information required for you to figure out the top candidates for cleanup when it comes to a disk cleanup exercise, which results in freeing up the server space. Moving forward, we have the dashboard feature. Now, this is one of the most loved features of SQL Diagnostic Manager as it has all the charts that indicates the health of your MySQL environment. Any spike in these charts could be a good indicator of bad performance. You can look into these spikes and see the corresponding queries. Now this helps immensely when you are trying to look for the culprit query causing the issue. Now this does not end here. Now what I'm excited to show you guys here is the capability for our users to roll out their own custom dashboards. So all you need to do is click on create new dashboard. You just have to enable the parameters that you'd like to see in your particular chart and you just have to click on save. Once you do that, you'll be able to roll out your own dashboard and ch charts which you think suits your MySQL environment. Now, the reason we allow our users or we provide this flexibility to our, all our users is because we believe one size does not fit all. And a lot of users, they would like to do a lot of starting and trending for a lot of matrices. Next up, we have the monitors page. Now, SQL Diagnostic Manager gets shipped with more than 600 plus best practices monitors and advisors. Now, the moment you install SQL Diagnostic Manager and point it towards your server, it starts monitoring your MySQL and MariaDB servers and provides you timely alerts and advices before things go wrong. Now, these monitors are not just simple plugins. We have business partners with MariaDB who deploy our tool on the field. And while doing so, they keep sending feedback based on their experience, and which eventually helps us constantly update and add new advisors to the tool. The best part about these monitors is that the underlying code is not hidden from our users. All you need to do is click on a particular monitor and you get to see the underlying logic or the function running that particular monitor. And now if you are someone who would like to customize these monitors, 
the giver uses the flexibility to, to do that as well. All you need to do is change the uh, underlying function, set the critical threshold and warning thresholds, and you can customize these monitors to your heart's content. Okay, so moving forward. Moving forward, we have the real-time monitoring feature. Now, real-time monitoring is what you need when you want to see what's happening in your servers in real time. I'll just show, I'll just load a safe session for you to demonstrate the matrix that it collects. So this is how the information layout looks like. Now real time continuously executes a bunch of queries on your servers and fetches information such as, and as you can see here, what are, what are the top running queries for this particular time frame? In this particular time frame, what is the most busiest database, tables, databases? What are my slow query logs? What, what are my locking queries and log tables and things like that? So since all this information is retrieved in real time, you get to see what your servers are up to at any point of time. This, this particular session can also be stopped and saved for later analysis. Now the real-time monitoring feature is very beneficial because sometimes you need to have high fidelity monitoring in place to do when, especially when you're getting into a specific debugging session. Moving forward, we have the query analyzer feature. Now, it is one of the most powerful features of SQL Diagnostic Manager, as it lets you capture queries using multiple endpoints. You can either capture query using this, you can either analyze the slow query log, the general query log, or the sniffer. So this is how the information layout looks like. You get to see the top five running queries based on total execution time. Now, if you're someone who's trying to do a non obtrusive query analysis, now we have something we unique which we call the sniffer feature. Now this is pretty unique to mo pretty unique to SQL Diagnostic Manager. What it basically does is it takes a dump of show full process list every single second and store it on, in our repository, and then you can later run these run reports on that clean up clean up literals and even group queries. Because this query analyzer feature easily uncovers the problematic queries, it allows you to focus your time on the queries that yields the highest value rather than shooting in the dark and waiting for the database performance to go horribly low. Moving forward, we have the audit log feature. Now, in the recent years, there has been a marked need of for more sophisticated tools due to the increased internal and external security on security and auditing policies. Now both MariaDB and MySQL implement auditing via native plugins. These are fully configurable and may record database activities in a variety of formats. The resulting log may be read directly or analyzed by a tool such as ours, the SQL Diagnostic Manager. Now once you analyze the audit log, it provides you a summary of it provides you a summary of failed logins, the failed events, the schema changes, data changes, and stored procedures. And apart from that, it also allows you to view fields such as the username, host operations, database, table queries, all within, a, in, within an easy to read tabular format. Now this is pretty useful for companies who have a big DBA team in place and they would like to audit the activities that is happening in their MySQL environment. Okay, so moving forward, we have the track configuration change feature. Now, SQL Diagnostic Manager gives you an option to track and compare server configuration. Now, this is pretty unique to the tool, again, and no other modern solution in the market currently provides this cap capability. Now, I'll give an example. If you, have, if you have a set of servers that are of different versions, and some servers have performance problems, the cause could be the difference in the configuration of these servers. Now, using SQL Diagnostic Manager, you get you can see you can see a side by side difference in the configuration of servers with just a single click. All you need to do is click on Show Only Changed Values, and once you do that, you can see a side you can see a side by side comparison between the configuration changes of 
all the servers that you have registered with the tool and not only that you can even track these changes so all you need to do is toggle from compare to track and herein you can see at what time the latest con configuration change was made and when was the configuration changed for the very first time all right so moving forward we have the replication overview page now the replication page basically allows you to view the replication hierarchy of your servers along with details of each replicated server to make sure that the data is up and running at all times now at any point of time you can switch from graphical to tabular replication view to get a deep dive into the running servers and to it basically helps you uncover information whether or not these slaves have stopped or or if there is any lag between the master and slave servers now this is just a simple master slave setup apart from that sql diagnostic manager also supports multi master and multi source replication so this brings us to the end of the session now last but not the least if you need a complete mysql monitoring system with an early warning mechanisms and you're tired of using expensive unreliable monitoring tools do download a free trial of SQL Diagnostic Manager for MySQL and MariaDB. We promise that you'll never look back. Thank you for having me and have a good one.